Welcome to Top Speed. My name is Christy, and today in our garage is a 2008 Mercury Sable Premier. The Sable is a full size sedan created by Ford and sold as a Mercury brand. It was first introduced to the market in 1986 and was a milestone design for Mercury. It was refreshed in 1992 and redesigned in 1996. Now, five generations later, the Sable is keeping up with the popular luxury design. The Sable is powered by a 3.5 liter V6 engine, mated to a 6 speed electronically controlled automatic transmission. The cool thing about this transmission is that it actually learns your driving patterns and adapts shift points to optimize the performance. Speaking of performance, this engine could deliver 263 horsepower. The fuel economy is estimated at 18 city and 28 highway. The starting price for the Sable is $24,500. Our test vehicle has a price of $27,300 because it's a premier trim with front wheel drive and has an optional sunroof, navigation and cyber satellite radio package, a reverse sensing system, adjustable pedals and a few other options. So now we have more information on the 2008 Mercury Sable Premier. Let's go outside for miles and check it out. Thanks Christy. This is our 2008 Mercury Sable Limited model. Now, the Sable's been around for the better part of about 23 years, and in that time, the cars really matured. Back in 1986, when the Sable first appeared on the scene, well, it was like a newborn. It was a new and fresh idea. It and its almost identical twin, the Ford, the Ford Taurus, well, they were out there to show that, that Ford could actually build a car that could compete with the foreign competition. And that one really was a new idea. Well, after a while, though, the car grew a little bit, and by the time it got into the third generation, it was sort of like it became a teenager. That styling was oval for the sake of oval. It was like the car was rebelling against anything with the corner. Well, the problem was is the, drive, the buyers really stayed away from that car. And Ford learns its lesson, and that's what we can see here in the fifth generation, which it's a very conventional styling. Now, we also know that Mercury is a step-through brand. Ford Motor Company would like nothing better for you to buy a Ford then upgrade into a Mercury on your way to buying many Lincolns. And so that's what Mercury really has is it has a little bit more luxury than the Ford, but it also takes a lot of styling cues from the Lincoln. Things like the waterfall grill in front, that's a Lincoln styling hallmark. This all style also continues into the wheels here. This is a 14 spoke, but it still has that sort of waterfall look to it. But the whole overall effect of the car is Mercury wants to have sort of an understated elegance. They use a minimal amount of chrome, they use just soft hues, and the whole car itself is going for that little extra bit of luxury. But the real thing the Sable has going for it is its size. The Sable is pretty much bigger than all the competition. In fact, it's a little bigger than the Taurus. Historically, it's actually been a lot bigger than the Taurus, and this one's only fractionally larger, but nonetheless, this is still a very big car. Now, as I mentioned before, the car is going for that sort of understated elegance, and the same thing happens here in the interior. They use a lot of dark colors and neutral hues to get that accomplished. For example, the seats have a nice two-tone leather to it, but it's a gray and a light color. It actually looks a lot like a sporting seat, even though this really isn't a sports car. It works on the dash as well. They've got a faux wood here that contrasts well with the gray, and, well, we like a good touchscreen nav system, and this one is good. We have all of our buttons along the, the major buttons along the side of the system, and what that means is they're always at command. We don't have to go back through any screens to get them. And anytime we do touch the screen, it's a soft touch. They're big buttons, and it always gets our touch. So the whole thing is that whether you have to do the radio or you're trying to find a point of interest, everything is just logically laid out, and it's not going to be that hard to figure out. The climate control system is very well as, as well. It's pretty much color-coded, it's straightforward, and it's all we can really ask from anything. It's dual zone, so at the very least, you're going to get two people who are happy in the car. As far as the rest of the interior goes, as I said before, you get that feeling of it's a premium Ford. It's a little bit of an upgrade from other cars. Now, one of the things you also get, though, is you want to be that step to Lincoln, and Mercury's done that, too. What you're going to have is the gauges. It has the same sort of retro gauges that Lincoln's been bringing back, and if you sat in this car and then you sat in the MKS Cousin, you can kind of see where Mercury's trying to be that transitional car. Other little features we have on here are the sync system. This comes standard on our car, and, well, we like it in all the cars we get just because you can sync it to your phone, you can read your text messages, and everything just sort of comes out a little bit nicer. But as I said before on the outside, where the car really shines is the interior room. There's a lot of headroom in this car. The back seat has a lot of leg room, 
And what you wind up with is when this car says it can seat five, many of those can really be adults. The theme of the car here has always been about being a big car, and so it drives like one as well. well for example, it rides like sort of an SUV or a larger sedan. It's when you go over a bump, you feel the suspension is definitely doing a lot of traveling, but you know the car isn't doing that much as do, doing that much. Sort of means it's a soft ride. But that's okay because if you're gonna buy a sable, you're more likely to ask yourself questions like when is soccer practice over or how many clients am I picking up today? Rather than asking yourself a question like where are the twisty roads? But with that said, we've got a 263 horsepower V6 engine and this car shares some of the bloodlines with sportier cars like the MKS or even the Volvo S80. And where that comes from partially is the V6 engine is actually horizontally opposed and that means it has to have a wide berth of the engine bay and that's why this car also has a very wide track. Now, one thing that we don't like about the car so much is that although the steering wheel does tilt, it doesn't telescope. What Mercury does instead is it actually gives you pedals that will move electronically. And that's a nice and convenient feature, but if you don't figure it out early on, what you're going to wind up with is kind of what's called the Italian driving position, which is you're going to have your arms locked out, and well, not everybody exactly likes that so much. Now, with all that though, this car really comes off with a feeling of value. The base Sable Premier line starts at about $27,000. Our car, because we've got the sunroof, we've got the nav system, and a couple extras, still comes under $32,000. When you combine that with the idea that you're probably going to get some discounts from the dealer, what you wind up with is, well, a car that is a good, firm step on its way to a Lincoln. Thank you, Miles. Well, that's all we have for today on the 2008 Mercury Sable Premier. Tune in next time for our next test drive.